Hello guys! In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can add some space between those cards and how you can make this layout responsive with CSS Flexbox. Here you can see the width of our screen and watch what will happen when we hit 668 pixels. Our cards are stacked one on another you see, and ready for all screen sizes. Okay, before we start, who am I? My name is Nicola from nnweb.net. If you feel this content is valuable to you, make sure you hit subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification bell. Additionally, you can read about this topic on my blog. The link is there in the description. Let's see the code. First, the HTML code. This is the VS Code code, VS Code editor. And in the head, I have link for the font awesome because I'm using those icons. And the link for style sheet. In the body, I have one section with the class of cards container. Inside, I have the container, the division class of container, which gives us the center and space on left and the right side of our screen. Let me show you. You see, sorry. Actually, I'll show you that in a minute. Then we have the cards division, which contains three division with card. Each card has the icon, H4 and paragraph. Okay, now let's see the styling. Here I have the Google font, reset styling, general style for the body and H4. The height for body is important. This is the 100 viewport height because I want to center this container on the main, uh, on the cross and the main axis in center. And also the body has the background color. For H4, this is the styling here. And I very much like the details, so I have created those those lines under the heading with pseudo selector before. Here we have the utilities, and this is our class container with 1200 pixels in width, with max with 95% margin auto and height 100%. Let me show you. Here we have some space because our container is 1200 pixels in width. And when I use this um, response tool, actually the inspector tool, this space here is that 95% of max width because I don't want to stretch my container from left to right side completely. Now let's see the next is the display flex. If you are using the bootstrap, you already know for container class and display flex class. And this class is very important because with that, we actually, this is the heart of today's project for responsiveness. I will show you that in a minute. And also in a second, I'm going to discuss about those, uh, those uncommented uh, things. Okay. Uh, now let's see the style for card and for icons. Each card has those this background, this color, padding and border radius. And each icon has this orange uh, background with margin bottom with some padding and border radius, which gives us this circle shape. Okay, first in the index, I'm going to apply this card display flex for container and for the cards. Save it. And now our cards here are centered in main and cross axis. Let me show you what's happened without justify content and align items. Now our container, our cards is from the top to the bottom, but let's first 
type justify content to center the cards in um, main axis. Actually, let's add align items first and center our content in the cross axis actually. And the justify content is the is very important, but wait a second. Let's uncomment it for the for now. And here each card, this division with a class of card for it uh, for for it I need to add the flex properties. Actually, the flex grow, shrink, and flex basis of thirty two pixels. Let me say this this and if we want to have some space here you need to add here for the parent container for this cards division which contains all card let's uncomment and click save okay here i have one error because justify content needs to be displayed as space between and with this property actually we get this space so in this flex property grow shrink and basis if you want more space here let's reduce the flex basis for each card for example 30 percent and now we have more spaces more room between those cards okay now for the responsiveness, it is very important to add this flex wrap wrap property because our cards with this are going to go one on the uh, on another. Let me save that and actually let's uncomment this media code for the 768 pixels. That mean means that when we hit those size these rules will be applied. Okay, click on resp uh, responsive, for example, type 800, and let's see what's going to happen when we hit 668, you see? And what, happen what happens when we don't have this flex wrap property? This is a disaster. Okay, this is the end of this tutorial. Thank you for watching. If you feel this content is valuable to you, make sure you subscribe. Also, read me, read about this topic on my blog. See you next time. Bye bye.